Good evening. Uh, I'm Carter Johnson, Naval News contributor out of uh, Washington, D.C. I'm here with Paul Lemo, uh, Vice President and General Manager of Integrated Warfare Systems and Sensors at Lockheed Martin. Great to be here with you. Very exciting. You have a really great uh, display here. You have the F-110 and the Canadian Surface Combatant, the River Class. So could you tell us a little bit about the uh, Canadian Surface Combatant, the most recent updates and everything that Lockheed Martin's been doing with that ship? Yeah. So. Uh, the Canadian Surface Combatant is now officially known as the River Class Destroyer. Um, the objective is to build 15 of those over the coming decades. And um, we are basically getting ready to start actual construction of the ship this year. In fact, uh, last fall, the shipyard, which is Irving Shipbuilding in Canada, um, started what they call a, a production test module to really test out all their methodologies for how they're going to build the ship. Um, on the mean, in the meantime, we have been uh, hitting milestones on the combat system development. Of course, this is going to have a variant of the Aegis weapon system integrated with our uh, CMS 330 product out of Lockheed Martin Canada. Uh, it's going to have a SPY-7 radar and uh, vertical launch system cells. And really exciting that uh, late last year uh, at the combat system engineering development site in Morristown, the Navy cut the ribbon on the uh, River Class Destroyer's uh, test site, essentially, at, at the CSAT site. So really excited about that. Excited to get going with construction this year on the River Class Destroyer. Yeah, it sounds like you know great progress is underway. I, the display looks fantastic. Um, could you tell us a little bit about uh, the weapon systems on board? I noticed you, know, you mentioned the vertical launch cells, right. um, the naval strike missile canisters, I believe, um, towards the back but just you know, an overview of, of what weapons this will bring to the Canadian Navy? Yeah, so you know, again, um, Aegis Combat System, SPY-7 radar. Um, it's going to have a, an EW system that'll be common with the US Navy. Uh, the VLS cells will be able to fire any of the US Navy weapons. Uh, they're mainly focused on SM-2 uh, and ESSM uh, missiles for uh, their, their loadout. It has a, a main gun here uh, on the front deck of the ship capability for a helo in the back, um, which will be for their existing uh, 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 Canadian Maritime Patrol helicopters. So pretty pretty extensive combat system on this ship. Yeah, sounds like a, a solid design. And then you also mentioned the uh, F-110. Uh, we also have that on display here at uh, SNA. So could you tell us a little bit about you know the current progress on that ship as well? Sure. So the F-110 for the Spanish Navy is a new frigate. Um, they're going to build five of those two of which are already under construction, well into construction. Uh, we've been working on the combat system for that with uh, Navantia. Navantia is the shipbuilder, but they also have combat system capabilities. And so, like the River Class Destroyer, we are integrating Aegis with their indigenous combat system uh, that they call SCOMBA, S-C-O-M-B-A. Uh, this will also have a SPY-7 radar, very similar to the Canadian surface combatant. In fact, uh, a big milestone that we just announced this week is that we had the first track on the F-110 SPY-7 radar system uh, back in December. So essentially the, the radar system is installed in our production test center up in Moorestown, New Jersey, and we started tracking live targets. So again, making good progress on this ship, um, again, with that customer in Spain. It sounds like uh, great progress being made on both ships. And moving forward, um, what is Lockheed Martin looking for in both of these ship designs? You know, is there room for growth, um, modifications, new VLS systems? You know, Lockheed Martin's been talking a lot about new VLS for not only the U.S. Navy, but also you know some international partners as well. So, for both of these designs, what what growth is is Lockheed Martin planning for yeah. both ships of the class? Well, of course, uh, we wouldn't plan it. The customer would, would plan it. Um, but we have a lot of discussions with them about what's possible. And of course, the Aegis weapon system over the years has proven that it is very adaptable. You know, for the US Navy, we've put it BMD capability into the Aegis weapon system. So we'll continue to look at what we can do with these ships to upgrade them. The SPY-7 radar has a lot of growth margin in it for different target sets it can track and so forth. So it's really a matter of getting into dialogue with those customers and seeing how they want to evolve their capabilities over time. Adding new missiles to the VLS, for example. Fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, spending our, your time with us. Uh, enjoy a great conference. You have a great display. So thank you very thank much. You. Great to join you today. Thanks. Thank you.